Hi, my name is Björn and this is a video tutorial on how to export and import your Groom with XGen. And one thing to know is that as soon as you save your project, whatever project path you have set in Maya is where it's going to be saved automatically. But if you want to export it manually to a specific location on your hard drive, you can go to the File tab and go to Export Collections or Descriptions. Now once you click this, you'll get an option box where you can select the destination of your um, description. So I'm going to create a folder here called test and uh, I'm just going to save my dear.xgen file. Great, now we have our description exported, but we also want to go in and export our groom. So go to the same tab, the file tab and go to export groom. In here you can select a file path again and it's going to save out four folders with um, different attributes for your groom. So if we go in and look we'll see that it has created uh, four folders uh, bent, length, orient and width saved and in those folders uh, you find the ptext file that describes uh, the uh, different attributes. So great, let's open uh, another scene with the same model. Uh, in this case I guess it would be uh, an animation scene or a cache. I'm just gonna use the rig file uh, for this test. So select your geometry and uh, go to XGen and import uh, collections or descriptions. And it's gonna come up with the exact same dialog box as we saw before. So just select the uh, my path where you saved your um, XGen file. In this case, we saved it in the uh, test folder, so I'm just going to direct to that and import. Now you can see that the fur is um, distributed like we, the way it's applied, uh, but it's not groomed, so we want to import the groom too. So just go to File, the same place as before, and select Import Groom. Now we're going to get another dialog box, and you just uh, direct it, Maya to the folder containing the four folders that is your groom. Now one thing to notice is that when I move this uh, rig around, you'll see that the guide curves are not actually attached to the mesh. Uh, but if I uh, render this, uh, the demo preview, you can see that they are actually in fact attached. But uh, for some reason Maya doesn't update this like uh, Yeti does, for instance. So that's uh, that's a bit annoying, but that's uh, the, you can work around it, I guess. And that's my short Maya tutorial on how to transfer uh, XGen Groom and description from one Maya scene to another. And I hope that was somewhat useful. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching my tutorial. If you're interested in more tutorials, <laughs> feel free to visit my homepage. I'm sure you'll find more tutorials and you can click the link under the video to get there.